Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so glad you are here. If you haven't yet subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. I love having you here. I love creating a community where we can help each other level up and rise up. So thank you so much for being here. We're going to dive into the first key of creating happiness and, and overcoming adversity, depression, and anxiety. I think it's important to share a little backstory just so that you can know that I can absolutely identify with where you're at right now because you're probably not sitting on a beach in Mexico. Um, I just happen to have the opportunity to come down here. So here I am. Um, 15 years ago, my oldest son, he was in a tragic accident. He was 22 months old and he fell from my second story window. That um, accident ended up taking his life five hours later. I was 23 years old and it absolutely wrecked me. I, I died when he died. My entire soul shattered in that moment when I was driving home from the hospital and I looked back and I saw his car seat and the hair that was left knowing that he would never ever sit in that car seat again and I walked into my home uh, when I got home at two o'clock in the morning there were police and I was greeted by a detective who um, was investigating me for the murder of my child this was all extremely traumatizing. My son was my entire world. I loved him more than life itself. If I could, I would change places with him in a heartbeat. There's not really adequate words that can, that can convey the level of heartbreak and hopelessness and despair and depression and anxiety that settled into my life. I spent five years in bed crying, literally 20 hours a day just escaping my pain through sleep. I, I reached a point where I didn't believe that happiness was an option for me and that I was going to be signed up for a life of complete and utter misery, despair, anxiety, and adversity. After spending five years in that space, I came to a crossroads. And this is where what I'm about to say applies to you. Everybody, when they are in deep despair, depression, anxiety, fear, adversity, comes to a breaking point. They come to a crossroads where they can no longer go on the way they are and something has to change. I was literally at the breaking point of I am either going to take my life or I'm going to figure out how to be happy again. And so I figured that I had to figure out how to be happy because I couldn't go on living 60, 70 years living the way that I was where I was alive but I was barely breathing. I was living but I was barely alive. I existed, but I didn't enjoy. So I'm gonna share with you the first step that I took to pull myself out of this deep depression and dark place riddled with anxiety, fear, and depression. And it's really important that this first step is actually taken at the crossroads because until you get to the point where you are completely and totally and utterly fed up with the experiences that you're having, the circumstances that you're living in, the way you are feeling, you don't have enough conviction to push through the barrier. You have to reach that point of breaking. Um, you have to reach rock bottom before you can go up. And that's what I, that's the point that I am talking at is when you are at the point where you're like, I'm either going to live or I am going to die, or I am going to figure out how to do this no matter the cost. I will not stop until I figure it out. That is when you know you're ready 
to make this first step. I was laying in my bed and it was his five year anniversary and I was so over it. I threw my covers back and I made him a promise. The first step is simply making a decision. Making a decision with conviction that you will not stop until you figure it out. That you are committed to the process of uncovering happiness, joy, peace, harmony, whatever that looks like in your life. I have a lot of other steps to take in this journey to happiness, but the very first point of turning your life around and experiencing happiness is simply the first step of making a choice, making a decision that you will figure it out no matter what it takes. I, for a very long time, did not realize what a victim I was. And this experience had happened to me and I didn't realize that I needed to flip the script in my mind and say that this experience happened for me. Flipping the script to being able to say, I will make my son's death become the very best thing that has happened for me. Instead of my son died, that happened to me. You have a decision to make. You can either let your adversity, your trials, your tragedies, your traumas, your anxiety, your depression, all of these things, they can make you bitter or they can make you better. You can simply survive them or you can learn how to thrive through them. You can conform to your trials, tragedies, traumas, anxiety, fear, depression, or you can transform them. So that is as easy as it is. You don't get to control what happens in your life. You only get to control with what you do with what happens in your life. That, my friends, is the very first and most profound, most important step that you can make in your journey to happiness and internal peace. You make that strong commitment inside of yourself so that when it doesn't just change overnight, when the light switch doesn't just get turned on, that you are committed to the process. My mom would always say, I wish that I could just turn the light switch back on for you. And I tried to tell her that depression and anxiety and fear, those, those things do not get turned back on with a light switch, especially when they have been caused from tri trials, tragedies, traumas, and adversity. There is a massive amount of healing to do. There is a massive amount of unwinding to do in your mind, in your heart, in your soul. And that is why making a decision to overcome is the most powerful thing that you could do right now. What I did was I exclaimed it from the tops of my lungs. I made a powerful declaration and I yelled, I yelled, it will not stop until I figure it out. It was also a powerful declaration because it was a gift that I was giving to my son. My why of becoming happy again was so powerful because I came back to wanting to be happy as a gift for my son. I will tell you right now, getting from the depths of suicide and despair and sleeping 20 hours a day, it didn't come fast. And there are a few more steps that I will be sharing with you in the next video. So please join my channel, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell and we will see you on the next video. Have a great day, great night, and a great life. Bye.